на коленях упала. He's talking, he's talking about a female. I definitely don't get he's talking about like no gangster stuff. The name of the song is a tattoo artist. A tattoo artist? And is this based on a true story? Yeah. Yeah, it kind of, yeah. I didn't, I didn't know that, that it was talking about a tattoo artist though. Like I, I definitely thought it was like some type of like like romance or type of song. Hey, what's going on? This is Memory Lane Podcast. I am Struggle the Preacher, and I have a new guest today, Beneficial. And what we're doing on this podcast, it's a reaction podcast where I play some songs, and, and they are in Russian. I'm not going to give no details about the song or the artist bef uh, before the song is played so you gotta listen to it first and then tell me what you think about it sometimes i do want to give details beforehand you know but if i do that you know you're not gonna have that open and authentic approach in the first place if i tell you give you details right mm What do I think it is about? The first thing, based off the instrumental, 
because instrumental is 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 normally how like a lot of people write. They write based off like you know you can hear like and then it gives you a certain vibe to to write about. So first thing that came in my mind is it was it was about like a love song or something. Okay. Or 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 it's like he he he's he's talking to like a female maybe or. If not that, then maybe like something that's like like a sad moment or something. You know what I mean? Um, okay. But I definitely don't get he's talking about like no gangster stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, it 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 kind of it kind it kind of it kind of gives me like a more soft type of type type of vibe. You know what I mean? Okay. The name of the song is a tattoo artist. A tattoo artist. From what you have said yes there is something that yes i can say yes you're on point in some things so if it's tattoo artist yeah then he's he's talking about me he's he's talking he's talking about a female okay no no just go ahead i, I mean yeah um he's talking about a female artist that maybe he fell in love with at first sight okay. or something. Okay, but the the uh, actually uh, he's uh, he's talking to a prison tattoo artist. Yeah. Yeah, because like again, I said in Russia, they, they it's a very every tattoo that you have has a meaning, and the wrong tattoo they can identify you by tattoos in, in Russia. Yeah. Prison. Yeah. Uh -huh. So let's say if you're somebody's bitch, you know they they have you know certain type of tattoo on your on your butt or yeah, you know, yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yeah. That that has a meaning, and like so so he's not talking about like, like nah, love he's not talking song about love. And this is not the real guy that made the song, right? The guy. He looks like the real guy, he but it's not like him. Not. Yeah. You see all this? Yeah. Doesn't he sound a little different than yeah. the original? Like the original guy sounded more aggressive. Yeah. And is this based on a true story? Yeah. Yeah. About to cry. Hold on. It looks like they they like feeling bad or sad or something, right? Yeah. They are, right? Let's 
Is he like the leader? Yeah. В твоей песне надежда есть. То, что никто даже узыка отнять не может. Это тебе вместо силы. На любой зоне примут. И вот еще что. Зубами цепляйся, но сделай так, чтобы тебя не только за забором слушали. На воле бой. Чтобы все знали. Знали, что и здесь тоже люди живут. Что делаешь что-нибудь? Повесел. So what do you think just happened? I think he probably first first thanked them. You know, he gave him gave him gave him his ring. And probably told him the conditions of the people that was in there with him, that was inside the room with him. Mm -hmm. Like, listen, I understand this. You know what I mean, <laughs> well, this is what they going through, or something like that. Okay, so first, in the very beginning, when he got on stage, they were like, "Who are you?" And just like, you know, and what are, what what do you think about? He said about no prison life, and they asked him, uh, "Where did you?" Do your time," he said. "I never done my time." He's like, "Well, you 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 singing about something that you don't know." So they kind of didn't want to know. Like first, they were skeptical about you know his performance and mm -hmm. about him. So he sang this song. They just kind of could relate to this song. So then he uh, approached him right and, and gave him that ring. If you go, you know, just like if you are imprisoned in any prison, you will be respected because they gotta see, like you say, you know, like how they can, you know, other criminal. They can identify you that you are w respected, you know, because you have that ring that somebody mm -hmm. gave you this ring, you know, mm -hmm. just like so nobody gonna touch you. It's like a status. Yeah, like you got your stripes. And and the way he said, like, he also told him, like, there is a hope in your songs. That 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 song gave them hope. Mm hmm. Yeah, it kind of. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know that that it was talking about a tattoo artist though. Like I, I definitely thought it was like some type of, like, like romance or type of yeah. song. Somebody say, oh, like it's a Russian hip hop, but it's not like Ru Russian, or do have like you know like rap music in, in Russian, but they compare it, you know, to, in terms of lifestyles, to American hip hop artists, you know, mm -hmm. because it's all about street life and that music also about street life and the criminal activity, you know, like about. Uh, for the most part, again, it, it, they all also go by stereotypes and all that, but that's how they uh, classify the kind of music. 